The following is a Warriors Boxing Promotion sports presentation. Warriors Boxing Promotions, in association with the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hollywood and Seminole Tribe of Florida, presents Hard Knocks at the Hard Rock. Friday Night Fight, World Championship Boxing. In our main event, Juan Urango faces Francisco Campos for the WBC and IBF Latin American Championship in the Junior Welterweight Division. And we will have Sid Vanderpool going against Alejandro Berrio, light heavyweight for 10 rounds. Hi everybody, welcome to our show. I'm Dave Bontemple along with Michael Moore, former heavyweight champion. You know, Michael, Juan Urango in our main event has been called a mini Tyson. How does a guy who's a junior welterweight and a lefty get called a mini Tyson? For someone who hasn't seen him, they're in for a treat tonight. Juan Urango is an excellent puncher, body and head. You'll be in for a shock tonight. All right, so Juan Urango coming in here with some fanfare, a lot of noise about some early knockouts in his career. We're also going to see Sid Vanderpool, a guy who fought Jeff Lacey for a championship and lost. Now he brings in Tracy Harris Patterson. What is that like to a fighter to bring in a guy who's been a champion in his corner? Well, bringing in a guy that's been a champion is going to be a benefit because he's been a champion and he knows what it takes to be a champion. So it's going to be an incentive for him to have in this corner tonight. Now, Alejandro Barrio, his opponent, comes in there from Colombia. He is an IBO intercontinental champion, and so he feels he's being overlooked. We'll see if he's able to pull off the victory tonight. The light heavyweights are up. Sid the Jewel Vanderpool against Alejandro Barrio. Ten rounds. Some people think this fight's going to steal the show. We're ready to get the introductions. Let's go to the most popular ring announcer in Hollywood. Here is Damian Pinto. Once again, good evening and welcome back to the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino here in Hollywood, Florida. As we get set for our next bout, scheduled 10 rounds in your light heavyweight division. Before we introduce our combatants first, let me introduce to you the man in charge of the action in the squared circle when the bell rings. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee in charge, Armando Garcia. All right, fight fans, here we go. 10 rounds in your light heavyweight division. Introducing your combatants as such. Introducing first to the corner to my right from Cartagena, Colombia. He tipped the scales at 169 and one half fighting pounds. He has a very impressive record and 23 victories with only three defeats. 21 of those victories coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, wearing camouflage, and tonight, fighting from the blue corner, I give to you the IBO Intercontinental Champion, Alejandro Berrio. His opponent stands opposite in the corner to my left. From Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, this man weighed in at 171 fighting pounds. He takes a very impressive record also of 35 and 3 into the ring this evening. 23 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight he fights from the red corner wearing the black trunks trimmed in red. I give to you Sid the Jewel Vanderpool. Once again, here is your referee Armando Garcia with last minute instructions. Ten rounds in your light heavyweight division. I'm talking English with you and Spanish with him, so pay attention. Español contigo, inglés con él, así que pega atención, okay? Good, clean fight. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Don't make me pull you guys apart, okay? Una pelea limpia, obedece y protégete en todo momento. No me hagas estar alándote, okay? Te separa cuando yo te digo, okay? Good luck, buena suerte, touch gloves, toca guante. So, Vanderpool and Berrio ready to go. Vanderpool, 32, four years older than Berrio. Berrio with a significant height advantage. The reach pretty similar, and the weight 171, 169. So that is the tail of the tape. As we start the action. Here we go. 
Set for 10. Very, very interesting battle. Sid Vanderpool, the lefty, and Berrio, his opponent from Cartagena, Colombia. Berrio known as a good body puncher. Right off the bat, Berrio is fighting a softball against Sid, and it seems he knows how to fight a softball. He's keeping his left foot on the outside. As soon as Sid came out of the softball position, Barrio went to his left, which is the proper way to go fighting the softball. And so for Barrio, that right hand lead would be there. Double left hook would be there. And as you mentioned, keeping your lead foot outside that of your opponent. Seeing, seeing Sid fight before, Sid is very strong. Very, very strong. It's interesting, we talked to him about the loss to Jeff Lacey. And he had been doing well boxing, but he decided to slug in the middle of that fight. And it proved disastrous to him. Yeah, but he said he learned from it. He learned. Once he learned, being a fighter, once you learn from something, you go back and you analyze. You, you're, you're your worst critic. And he, I'm sure he's going to come out there and be effective this fight. And Tracy Patterson, his new trainer, saying he's worked with Sid about the angles, the movement, trying to make him slick and slippery, as well as a jewel. And, and there are some good people around him. Stan Hoffman, who has been the manager of 36 world champions, has come on board as well. So Sid Vanderpool is loading up for a run. And that was a pretty good uh, double combination to get all at once, Tracy Patterson and Stan Hoffman. Yeah, I would say so. Stan Hoffman, very, very nice man. Very nice man. Stan Hoffman's been around the likes of Joe Louis Manley, Iran Barkley. Most recently, Hasim Rahman. Sid's going, is being very effective to uh, Burials' body with that, that uh, left uppercut being a softball himself. I see, I see the punch that he's throwing with that left uppercut, and he's being effective with it. So the opening round has been an active one with Berrio stalking Vanderpool. We saw Vanderpool a year ago dismantle a very promising Tito Mendoza. Beat him decisively by moving and taking away Mendoza's right hand. So we come to the end of the opening round. Berrio stalking and Vanderpool on the move. Each guy brought a little something to the table here. We got some heat. We got some heat going into this round. These these guys are putting these punches together very well. Stand on the outside. Uh, Sid being more effective by putting combinations together. So here we go into round two. Sid Vanderpool against Alejandro Berrio. Vanderpool coming in at 35 and three, 23 knockouts. Berrio at 23 and three, 21 knockouts, which means his opponents do not last the distance and he doesn't usually win a decision. He doesn't have to. Look at Berrio the stalking on Vanderpool here. Looking at both of these guys, you would look at Sid and see such a physique that he has on him. Look at Barrios, real skinny, you know, not a thick guy. I'm sure those punches do hurt. Sure. And here he comes now as a southpaw. Barrio going back into a left-handed move here, working the body on Vanderpool, and Vanderpool back up on top of him. So we've got some point counterpoint as this fight is starting to settle into a nice heated rhythm. 
Good work. Good right hook. By Vanderpool. He shook up Berrio. Berrio backing up. Here comes Vanderpool's chance. Vanderpool opening up. Berrio is hurt. Vanderpool going for everything here. Berrio did not cover up. He did not grab. He did not hold. He just took Vanderpool's best. Sears throwing some very effective punches, very strong punches. Barrios is taking them. Haven't been a clean shot yet, but, ha but he's still taking them. Good body shot by Sid. Vanderpool working the body in a good straight left hand by Vanderpool, snaking its way through. Now Vanderpool again. Barrio trying to tie him up this time. And these body shots. If they don't do major damage now, they will certainly have an effect later on in this bout. It looks to, it looks to me that Berrios has a great chin. If I was Sid, I would have to, I would tell his corner, I would Tracy, tell him to go down to the body. If he goes down to the body, the head will come. Man, there's no such thing as a wasted body shot. No, not at all, because the later round, that's when it'll take effect. So Vanderpool. Fires a right hook. He's been warned twice now for low blows in this round. Good leaping left hand by Vanderpool. You do it too much, referee can take a point away from you. So Sid Vanderpool has broken open the stalemate. An excellent second round for Vanderpool. So, Berrio gets another round to work with. That's the best thing for him. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Cómo te sientes? Estamos bien, estamos bien, no pasa nada. Toma el agua. No pasa nada, vamos, vamos, bien. Toma el agua, toma el agua. Cuídame, va a ser lindo, va a ser lindo. Bien, ahí la sé. Quiero aquí hasta. Aquí, mañana, quiero una cosita tuya. Bueno, tienes que subirme la guardia. Trabajame los golpes por dentro. Te está rodeando, te está con la guardia abajo. No puedes bajarme la guardia. We go to the action here in the second round. That good right hook by Sid that was landed flush. He's coming in, put punches together. He's landed. As you can see, his head is wide open, and Sid's cracked him with a left hook, but didn't affect him. Sid's on the prowl now, coming in with a straight left hand, go back to the body, and come back to the head. Sid's doing a great job at, at picking this guy apart. Here we go again. You have Sid come at that straight left hand. He's been open shots for Sid throughout round two. So Sid the Jewel Vanderpool, very cool in round two. Doing the work here on Alejandro Berrio. Scheduled for 10 in the light heavyweight division. Vanderpool 35 and three, 23 knockouts. Berrio 23 and three, 21 knockouts. Now Berrio trying to rally after he was stunned in the last round. And this fight has all kinds of back and forth potential. I mean, Berrio has an intercontinental belt, so he's used to being a very good fighter and being on the fringes of contention. And Sid Vanderpool fought for a world title. I don't think that uh, Berrios' belt is on the line tonight. We have an excellent fight here. We do have to say, got a lot of power. A lot of power with these guys. This is the fight that when we looked at it, we said this is the one that could steal the show. It just had a certain sense about it. Now the question is, will it go long enough to do that? Because these guys have taken turns opening up with some big bombs. As you mentioned earlier, that Sid is being more effective with his punches, being on the inside, but he's coming in on the outside, he's on the outside also, and being effective with his punches. Yeah, multifaceted attack by Vanderpool. And the outside work is a product of quickness. Look at the quick feet that Vanderpool has getting out of range. But Berrio is very live. I see when he fought uh, Tito Mendoza, he confused him, just like he's trying to do because he's moving a lot. He's trying to confuse Berrios. But Berrios is put punches together, trying to catch him. And sooner or later, he's trying to catch up to him. We'll we see had if seen, he can take him on out of there. We had seen Tito Mendoza in a lot of fights, and nobody was ever able to make him look the way Vanderpool did. 
Punch he was out slicking him. He made Tito lunge, get very frustrated, hit after the bell. He totally took him out of his game. And that's uh, one of Vanderpool's key points. He certainly did. That's a great uppercut by uh, Barrios. Body shot here by Vanderpool. Right hand by Berrio. Berrio driving Vanderpool back, trying to land the right hand lead. And Vanderpool right back with some quickness. Berrio's coming in. Berrio's coming in, and he's throwing great body shots, but his head is still stuck up in the air. And Sid's landing some good shots on him. He put something together to be more effective. Berrio back. So we come to the end of round three, a nice pace to this scheduled 10 rounder. Discover 2,200 acres of adventure at Billy Swamp Safari on the Big Cypress Seminole Indian Reservation in Florida's Everglades frontier. Take a swamp buggy eco tour through the Everglades, witnessing nature up close. An airboat ride on a river of grass. See a snake and alligator show in our herbitarium and more. Sample traditional Seminole Indian foods in the Swamp Water Cafe. And be sure to visit our gift shop. We're open year round. Billy Swamp Safari. 1-800-GO-SAFARI. Sid looks very calm and relaxed still. Into round four we go, scheduled for 10. Sid Vanderpool and Alejandro Berrio in the light heavyweight division. We're at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. I'm Dave Fontemple along with Michael Moore. To win the heavyweight championship. Yeah, thank you, Dave. It's always a special thing when you see all the softballs. I, I like fighting softballs, and I like training softballs, which I'm a trainer also now, where I can help these guys with softballs because I am one. You know, being the first heavyweight champion, so that's 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 a good resume that I have. You know, it, it certainly is. Why do so many people hate to fight softballs? I think because they're trained. They're trained that psychologically, people would say you don't want to fight a softball. But if you're a complete fighter, being a professional that you are, being a fighter, you should be able to face anything and adjust anything that's put in front of you. And here's Vanderpool as the southpaw, and Berrio trying to deal with him. Berrio has an intercontinental belt. He's a quality fighter, 23 and 3. Sid Vanderpool emerging in the eyes of people in South Florida last April with a stunningly easy, at least that he made it look that way, victory over Tito Mendoza, and then he showed flashes of the same against Jeff Lacey before that fight went south on him. But that was for a heavyweight, that was for a world championship. Vanderpool, a cool customer here with Tracy Patterson, former featherweight champion in his corner, and Berrio right there, willing, he would be ready, ready to pounce on any mistake. Barrio looked confused. He looked at his corner briefly because he looks confused because he can't capitalize on his mistakes. And he looks like he's just confused right now. And that's what Sid has a reputation of doing, confusing his fighters. Uh, just some beautiful movements here by Vanderpool going in and out. You get going one way, you think he's going to throw a jab, and then he throws a power punch. You think he's going to get on the inside, and he moves. And Armando Garcia will warn them both about headbutting. We don't want to see this one short-circuited. I believe Barrio is uh, very confused right now. He's getting, he's getting, he's getting antsy right now, where he wants to land the more effective blows. Well, you know, I think the patience of Vanderpool is starting to wear him out. Exactly right. Couldn't have said it no better, Dave. Vanderpool is a composite picture of composure as we come to the end of the round. Oh, yeah. 
pelea. Hay que levantar. Vamos, toma la agua. Súbeme la guardia. Súbeme la guardia que estaba fuerte. ¿Cómo te sientes? Entonces yo confío en ti. Piensa en tu familia. Dame los golpes por dentro. Vamos a ponerle la conexión. Vamos. Aire. Picking up some action from the last round, we see that Barrio came in with that straight right hand and hit Sid. And we have we have action here again as Sid coming down to the body. Coming across with the overhand right, overhand left, I'm sorry. Being a soft call. As a round ended, you see the two bumped into each other. And Sid kept the pool head and just walked back into his corner, and Barrio came out and tried to go after him, but his corner came in and stopped him. As we start round five, there are no rules covering accidental shoulder bumps, so these guys took it into their own hands. Like, are you looking at me, man? Into round five we go. Here's Alejandro Barrio going low here, and Vanderpool striking back, and Barrio opening up back. It, it gets exciting, a right hand by Burrio. Vanderpool along the ropes, but perhaps voluntarily. Good shots here by Burrio. Leaping right hand comes up short, but the uppercut did not. The left uppercut scores. The crowd getting up. Burrio has a number of fans in here. You see Sid still staying cool, calm, and collected, but Barrio's putting that, putting that heat on him. Barrio getting an adrenaline rush. We talked last round about how he was impatient, and here in round five, he's even a little bit more animated as he jumps in on Vanderpool after the referees had breaking them. It really is coming on for Barrio. He is sensing that this could be a big momentum chance for him. A right hand by Barrio. Barrio. Another body shot by Barrio. Barrio seems very, very confident right now. Sid, he may be breaking Sid down now because he, he has someone that can punch with him. It is something, Michael, how from one round to the next, something could just light a fire under a fighter. And it might have been what happened at the end of the round. I see that uh, Sid has a little mouse over his left eye. And his nose is, he's got blood coming out of his left nose, nostril. Vanderpool landing the straight left hand, Berrio back at him. Just pawing with the jab. And fires the left hook and Vanderpool tries to tie him up. And now some blood coming out of the nose of Vanderpool. Sid looks Good to life. be, Sid looks to be a little tired, a little winded in this round. And he's uh, not stable on his feet. Maybe Barrio can capitalize on it. He's still a game fighter. Body shot to the right hook by Vanderpool. Right hand by Barrio. Good right hand by Barrio. A tremendous round. Sid looks like he's putting everything into the punches. And he's, he's trying to land. I'll tell you what would be the biggest crime of all would be to lose this round 10-9. The fans really love it, what happened here in round five. Action from the last round. We have some action from the last round. And we see Barrios is putting that pressure on uh, Sid. He's coming in. They're being effective with that good left uppercut by Barrio. Maybe confusing Sid a little bit because Sid looks at the guy's body. Maybe he's not timid of it. But we see that Sid's trying to wrap up, but Barrio keep punching, keep punching. And he's initiating the fight by being dictating by throwing that straight right hand and catching him with it. Stepped on that left foot of his. So into round six we go. Scheduled for 10. Alejandro Berrio in the black trunks. 23 and three, 21 knockouts. He's in the green trunks. Sid Vanderpool in the black. 
35 and 3, 23 knockouts. We're at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida, and on a night of hard knocks at the Hard Rock, we're getting that. Quite a matchup here, Barrio and Vanderpool. Vanderpool started out quickly, but in round five, Barrio jumped into another level. And being, being an intercontinental champion, I see that Barrio, he knows how to turn the fire on when he has to turn it on. Well, Barrio wants some fans in round five, but started to lose them by gesturing at Vanderpool. Fans did not like that. And there's a straight left hand by Vanderpool as Barrio just walked in and didn't jam his way in like he was doing last round. It looks, looks to me as Sid is getting restless, he's getting tired. Uh, I think he underestimated Barrio, probably like a lot of other people did. But Barrio coming in, an intercontinental WBO champion, maybe he's going to be effective. You never know. Well, some people did underestimate Barrio, but you wonder if Vanderpool could even afford to do that. Coming off a loss, he needs to build a big win. That's a luxury he can't afford. He's trying to get away now because Barrio's putting that heat on him. Let's Good see. body shot by Barrio. Good right hand by Barrio. And Vanderpool tying him up. The difference now, when he fought Mendoza, he had points in the bank and he could do this. But against Barrio, he needs to fight. He needs to put more points up. I would say that Sid needs a knockout against this guy if he wants to be victorious because this guy on, is the aggressor. He's Stop punching punch. some great punches together. And who knows? As we can see, he has a granite chin because Sid is hitting with some hellacious shots. And he's still there, still coming. So you think Vanderpool is already in that point in round six that he needs to knock out? He's desperate right now. Oh. He's desperate. You can look at him, look at his face. He's desperate. Uh, he, he, he did well in the first couple rounds, but Barrio is taking the play away. The round six works its way out. There's a mouthpiece coming out. And some respect comes to the fighters. How about that? Here we take a look at the pass action from the last round. We see Barrio still the aggressor. He's making Sid have to fight his fight by putting punches together and making Sid come to him. Barrio still working that body, working that head. And he's keeping his head up, though. That's the only thing I would say. Sid's coming in, being effective. As we see here, we got that jab, left hook, right hook. It was a good straight left hand. Barrio hit. We have Sid knock his mouthpiece out. Out of mutual respect for each other, the two just let the referee break him up. All right, so we go into round seven. Sid Vanderpool and Alejandro Barrio locked up in the fight we thought they would be in. Excellent battle in the light heavyweight division. Barrio has come on like gangbusters in round five and six after Vanderpool had things going the way he wanted. But there's a big left hand by Barrio and he continues to apply the pressure. Good right hand by Barrio. Vanderpool backing up. Big shots by Barrio.